Coming at oh, you live. Coming at you live. We've censored. <laughs> yeah. Evening, everyone. Right. Evening, everyone. Right. Welcome to Toy Division. I hope everyone is well this evening. Fine hump day. How are you boys? How are you boys doing? You good? Yeah, right, man. Yeah, look good. Yeah. Mm. Looking forward to uh, waiting for the, the weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm looking forward to the weekend, but I'm not looking forward to the uh, ungodly godly start on Saturday morning to get to Chatham. But... Ah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all part of the first one. Yeah, it's going to be the one. I think it's going to be a good one. It's going to be. A good... Well, it, it might be the last one. You never know, depending on what happens with restrictions and whatnot. Yeah, you know, I, I, well, obviously, like I really hope it doesn't stop that. That speed was as bad as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a car crash, like a kind of. Yeah. It was more like a look. We're doing a little bit, and this is the kind of be sensible now, or you, it will get worse. So. Stormy T, welcome, welcome, evening, my friend. Evening, evening. The moles, hello, dude. Good evening, chaps. Good. Yeah, look, I can kind of imagine the three of you getting ready for the audience. Do you play music? Yeah, we have like a, we have literally like an hour before we come on and just us pumping ourselves up. <laughs> Smoke. I'm, I'm just, I'm just tailoring my, just my, my, <laughs> my, my mullet wings, just getting them ready. AC, I'm, AC. I'm always last to the, to the event. To be fair, like I, I'm so lapsed in do, like sending the link out. I literally send them the link to the chat like five minutes before we, like ten minutes before it even due. If you, super if secretive. You, if you really wanted to get into the uh, conversation of entrance music, it is something I've thought about a lot. You definitely uh, have. Yeah. Um, so we, we we don't have to go uh, super deep into it, but needless to say, my music would be a song called. Uh, Crown on the Ground by a band called Sleigh Bells. If you haven't heard it, listen to it. Well, that, that band are amazing. Um, and my character would be some kind of cult leader, and my finishing move would be the right hand of God or the rapture. But you have far too much time to think about this. Probably another chat, but uh, yeah. <laughs> ben, what's up, dude? That Lycan, hello, my friend. Hello, hello. Carlos, welcome, welcome. Adam Zooks, yo, yeah, no vest, yeah. <laughs> Adam put a comment out earlier saying he, he, was, he wasn't too impressed with your guns, Andy. Uh, what, my guns? Yeah, he was... He was... I, what I guns? Didn't read, I didn't read it like that. I, I read it that Adam wanted uh, to see Andy wearing a vest on Saturday and he just wanted to, he, he didn't want to spoil the surprise and, and wanted to savour that himself. So don't wear a vest today, Andy, but do wear a vest all on Saturday at Chatham. I'm so confused. What? Your, your guns? Don't worry. Where was this comment? I, I have no idea. On Facebook, it was in, in the Toy Division Facebook. Well, you're probably, probably, you're, you're, you're probably I have to be honest, that I've been at work all day. I haven't really been on Facebook that much at all. Yeah, he's probably blocked you, mate. It's always fine. You probably can't read it. <laughs> probably. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm getting people liking me. They've been telling me they've liked me for a long time. So, you know. <laughs> I love you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Matty Bats Toys, welcome, welcome. Badges Toys, hello, my friends. Man, I'm welcome, so far behind. I'm trying to sort something out. It's just not working. <laughs> Major love for the loot crate, uh, team and Thank you very Andy. much. I've got a loot crate one as well. It's a Punisher one. So I've got a Primani one on. Primane, love it. So just hoping the shopping centre. Because we had to carry on. Hope to get the nod tomorrow to book till. Oh, that's cool. Mm. That would be good. That would be very very good. Yes, looking forward to seeing you, Colin. Looking forward to it. Even Mitch Toyverse, even cool. even. Oh yeah. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to cast aspersions onto uh, any of our private lives, but no, vastly necessary, mate. <laughs> Mrs. just walked in and asked the two guys at the top are twins. We're just, oh. we're just, we're just bros. We're just bros. I can see it. I see, you sent that picture the other day with the cat on you, and I was like. Yeah, you, you guys are morphing into each other. Yeah, but I'm I'm older, so I get I oh. reserve the right to say that Aaron's just copying my vibe because I'm older. That's I, I kind of I kind of hope you think uh you think Dan looks a lot younger than he does, other than me <laughs> looking a lot older. Yeah, what well, Aaron? No, I think you've def you've definitely aged. The whole mo the move process is definitely aged. <laughs> yeah. Aaron, it's, I think. It's, put, it's put ten years on him. <laughs> Hard life. <laughs> Tra traveling to <laughs> Yeah. 
Matt Smith, evening. Hello, hello. Welcome to the chat. Rad Rob's toy retro toy journey. Good evening to you, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're, normally, as we do, we kick off with uh, what new things people have got. So, uh, do you guys have anything new? I've got one new thing. It's not actually mine, but I thought I'd present anyway because I've been slack the last few weeks. Um, do you want me to go? It's very quick. Yeah, yeah, go, on. go on for it. Yeah. Uh, so big. Bid up to uh, comics and cocktails after their unfortunate uh, situations, but they still managed to fulfil oh. orders and whatnot. Sorry, oh, no, I said I've just remembered what you said you pre-ordered. So I'm free. Oh, what do you think I'm going to? This isn't for me. This is this is Hannah's. This so this isn't actually mine. This is Hannah's. Uh, but it came yeah. from comics <laughs> cocktails, so we were we were a little bit like, ugh, is it going to turn up? And uh, I believe. Yeah, it's both, it's so, that's correct. So I got. Yeah, I do remember what you tell me. Oh, I awesome! Don't know if. Uh... Oh, hang on. Oh, 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 oh. Make my monster exactly. grow. Yeah. <laughs> my awful, awful, grainy camera and bad lighting in my bedroom. But yeah. Um, cool. So this is this is this is Hannah's. It's the uh, it's the Black Series Ahsoka from Rebels. From Rebels, it's it's definitely the best Ahsoka that yeah. has been made by some distance. We've got all the other ones. As uh, we probably spoke about, the Star Wars figures we collect are like, I, I collect Rancors, used to collect Atats, Hannah yeah. collects Grievous. You know, there's like, there's characters, but yeah. Ahsoka is definitely one of them. And um, so, yeah, yeah. So it came and it's in great condition, obviously, because it's new, but it, no damage on the box. And uh, yeah, just a, just a very cool figure and pretty happy with that. And uh, while we're on the subject, just a big up to uh, our, our friends, um, Charlie and Barney. Uh, and looking forward to seeing them soon at a toy fair near you, whenever mm -hmm. that may be. Uh, CBW Toys on Instagram, give them a follow. But they gave me the uh, the the secret nod as to their it's potentially a little stash of the Cad Bane's someone's got. So I'm 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 working on that, but it's going to be a present. So so, uh, but yeah, but I have ordered one. So I hope she'll get a Cad Bane. But thanks to uh, thanks to Barney for giving me the um. Not awesome. on that. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. There you go. That, that's that, uh, the new Black Series packaging, right? It looks quite big. It's pretty cool, man. It's like kind of streamlined. It's uh, yeah. It, it's like a, it's like almost like a, you know the like the elite uh, wrestling figures. It's got that that curve right. inside, but but it's much smaller and com more compact. It's kind of cool. That, that eBay kaching I just heard. Yeah, sorry, I'll tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's just showing off there. Just showing off. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll turn that off, mate, because uh, my battery run out. Otherwise, the amount of chins. Yeah, on, like, make yeah. make it bank on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I just been cool. Cheers, Ben. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I will do like a, a new little room tour, but yeah, it's got a nice little L shape here, so it's cool. It does cool. it. does it nice. Although, uh, although Ben's uh, skateboard setup is also something to it's behold. It's insanely very, awesome. Very, very nice. Nice. Mark Blue Harvest Phoenix Toys. Welcome, welcome. Days World Toys. Hello. Yes, thank you very much. Hope you're well as well, my friend. Doing well. Mm. Yes, Matt. The, the, the box. The new it's box cool. is really good. It's really manageable. I know that's probably not like a key word when it comes to toys and fun, but it's it's a manageable box and you could... Uh, yeah, you so is that a keeper in the box or you can not open it? Uh, this one will probably, uh, probably stand a box, man. Not, be, not because I'm being funny about it, just because uh, I haven't really got any room right now to... Uh, Kind of have a loose figure nicely. It's easier to stack this box on another box. What a sad state of affairs that is. But yeah, yeah, I'll stand the box at the moment. Oh, so I, really, I was looking at the um, Ewok. I think it's Tebow that they've released. Yeah. Okay. I really like the box art. And I don't mm -hmm. like boxes at all, but it's got like, this really cool green color. Mm. It's just, yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. Well, yeah, what... each, each series or whatever episode or film has all got a different color code, haven't they? So. Yeah, and that's cool as well. And what I like about all the Black Series and a lot of toys these days is, uh, as a, uh, as um, is I think someone as Blue Blue Harvest mentions just there is, yeah, you can open them and reseal them. But yes, uh, yeah. he's mentioned there is an awful lot of tape on the top. <laughs> I do tape them. There's a lot of tape on them, so the bottom yeah. just had one bit of tape. Yeah, open it for the bottom. You probably can't. Don't you can see, oh, the, on, see if you can see the shine on it. It's like yeah. wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every every side is taped. Do you um, reckon? Yeah, but the bottom's just got one bit. So if you're gonna open it, slice it there. 
Do you reckon they did that? You know, you see all those like videos and pictures of people like swapping out figures. I was saying that's funny. Someone says, I've come across this rare, like, it, like again, wrestling elite figure, whatever. And you're like, what you've come across is someone has put a different figure in there. Yeah. Like an you, old, you, yeah, old figure. Do you, do you reckon Hasbro have thought, oh, do you know what? We'll put four bits of tape on the top and that'll throw them off, but they won't notice the one bit of tape at the bottom. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, that is the way to open them via the bottom. Awesome. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps they start to fall to pieces if they, if they hang on the uh, hook too long. I don't know. But yeah, cool packaging, cool figure. Uh, and thank you to Comics and Cocktails for filling the order. If they'd have turned around and said, we haven't got it, I would have said, fair enough, you've been robbed twice. But uh, all good. <laughs> fair enough. Andy, have you... Oh, sorry, Dan, yeah, is that... Um, got... Hey? Sorry, go on, Andy. Yeah, no, uh, so this week I was pretty battle beast heavy. But uh, I've got an awesome glow-in-the-dark custom... Oh, sorry, wrong person. <laughs> I don't know, custom knockoff, whatever you want to call it creative awesomeness but yeah he's a glow in the dark figure it's a custom he's badass it's really glow uh, in the dark as well isn't it would it glow in the dark yeah, it's, not radio, it's not radioactive do you think it'll glow in the dark on this if you turn the lights out oh, i don't think it's i don't think i've had the lights on i've literally got in like all oh, right maybe okay. hour before we did this check, um, out andy's, check out andy's instagram to see a few uh, pictures but like it, yeah it's i was going to put a picture up of it but it, it is like, like mm. it's awesome uh and then i got i carried on with the variants a little bit now, I've got a double chip which one's all very that, that one. So I've got the power mouse oh, who cool. this one, the only difference in him, I, I can't really work out with a camera, doesn't have his teeth painted. So like there's two little bits there not painted, whereas that oh, one yeah, his yeah. teeth are painted. Yeah. Is that a yeah. variant or has someone just scratched the paint off? No, hundred percent it's a variant. It's like it's a legit thing. Do you wanna do you wanna, some, do you wanna buy some variants off me, mate? They're missing arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give one, one this one's more. This one's more obvious. So, okay. this is a, a pink uh, weasel, war weasel. Right. Oh, actually, the camera's not picking up very well. But this pink, and then this one's orange. Oh, you can oh, see the difference. Yeah. You can see the difference, yeah. 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 One's just sun damaged, and the other's fine. Yeah. No, it's, it's <laughs> definitely not. It's definitely a totally different color. But yeah, so they're cool. And then I'm hoping, after not being paid since like June. I finally will have a big pay well not a big payday but a payday and i'm hoping in a couple of weeks i'll have a very for myself personally a very nice laser beast delivery and i'm decent pretty excited i still gotta get you to hook me up with a um a sloth the battle beast sloth, sloth. yeah yeah i want the I, shark I will, I will get you one which shark aaron pink or blue that doesn't matter the pink one's a carp it's not a shark it's the same mold isn't it no Oh, oh, here we go. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to question the Battle Beast, the Battle Beast King. I, yeah. I used to have them all, and I, uh -huh. the same for two series. Yeah, I, I was gonna... Fair enough. Yeah. Awesome. But yeah, so cool, that, cool. that was Battle Beast heavy. I think I got. No, yeah, there's some other stuff in the post, but it didn't turn up. Ah, oh, decent. I got, I got something in the post, and it is uh, coming from Italy, and it is the least exciting thing for anyone in the world. But uh, I'm pretty jazzed about it. That's all that matters. As long as you're happy. Oh well, well, I won't be. I'm not. You know, well, you know, when you buy something and it's and there's no pleasure in it. I didn't want to spend the money. Um, <laughs> I I don't even really care about it. But it's like, oh, I need it. So it's almost a an annoyance when I get it. I'll go, oh, good. But I'm, um, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it'll be good when I do get it. If I get it, it's oh, just ben, ben, it's the same guy. Ben just put a comment up saying he's got monster wrestlers in his pockets. Is that the same monster wrestler in my pocket? Glow in the dark. It's done by the same same guy on Instagram. Oh, fair enough. I'm gonna give not, a shout out. I say, you <laughs> yeah. No, I want to say it's Nosferatu toys. So I might pronounce that terribly. That's how Nosferatu is pronounced. Yeah. If that is even is Instagram's name, I'm fairly confident it is. Uh, I believe his real name is Ruben. All right. Awesome. What you got, Aaron? What you got? I'm having a bit of a memory blank. I did show these off last week, didn't I? Uh, yeah, we saw those last week, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's been a long week, I know, mate. You've moved mountains. Yeah, I know, right? Right, jumping on the um, Black Series. Mm. Hey. So, I too, I've got Sabine and that purple packaging. Is so she the one that people think uh, Sasha painted? Yeah, yeah okay. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know how well it's coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, no. I don't. I don't Christmas. know. Hold on, show the lights there. I don't know. Maybe. 
I kind of see it. I think Sasha's like athletic athleticism would work really well with her. Athleticism. Yeah. So, but yeah, same card. Vic doesn't like this new card. Him, I'm going to name him Chamber. I'm into it. I think I prefer it. I, 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 as I say, I'm not a box person at all. But I, but she she was more like sort of the OCD of it not being like square. Oh, dude, I, I'm I'm with her on that. If you were a collector and wanted things to look the same, it is incredibly frustrating yeah. when they change anything, magazine size or or, or packaging edges or graphic novel um, spines. It's well irritating. But there we go, and we got this one. So we've got Empire Strikes Back, which is blue. Yeah. Is that just not, not a repackage of the first Black Series Dolph Vader they did, or is he different? Um, I think his actual get-up is supposed to be the Empire Strikes Back, which I think has got this... Uh, might be right, so there'll be slight differences. Yeah, 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 I don't think New Hope Vader had the silver like part of it. Right, okay, okay. Why, yeah. why, why does he have a blue lightsaber on the side? <laughs> Variant. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Ching -ching. Yeah, you know, right? I'm going to be banking on that uh, in 50 years' time. And the man of the hour, the man of the season. Commando. Best car Mandalorian. One day I'll watch it. You should, man. You should. You should. I, I you, know. You dig it. I, did, I think I will dig it. I won't dig the volume of flipping toys they bring it out of it. It's doing my head in. That it's, the only thing they, it's the only thing they've got going for them, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It is a, that is a very cool one. I've got to say, I, do, I like the um, it's I, I like the I like the guns. I mean, I don't I've not seen it, but I I'm into it. It's cool. And obviously, he comes in the sandy orangey kind of. Mm. So it, is the packaging like a hexagon type? It's not rectangular. Yeah. It's not rectangular. It's curved, right? It's got, hang on, it's got a yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, it's got a yeah, I was trying to work out. I was like, is it curved? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So basically, when you when you get the whole line, obviously these won't fit in with each other, but they're, they're supposed to like line up with each figure, yeah, and make a picture, which is pretty cool. But mm. I will be yeah. I will be letting them breathe, baby. Well, Don't breathe. the beauty beauty of it being, you can you can. Like what 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 if we're saying opening a package and is letting them breathe? We're putting it back in the package and is what choking it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Submission. Yeah. You can you can you can choke them out. You can triangle choke them later. Put them back in. Talking of boxes, I found some empty um, black series figures, like boxes that I used to have. I think I found Boba Fett, Half Maul, and a Stormtrooper. I saw the one sold to Dan, wasn't it? No, that he bought the Shadow pack off me with the speed bikes. Uh, I bought the uh, Shadow Troopers off, and yeah, uh, I didn't have the box for that. I, I found them randomly in the in a box. Evening VTR, Vintage Toy Rush. Hello, mate. Been on Biden, or should I just bin them? Um, Take them. See what happens. Take them with you. Yeah, someone might want them. There you go. Yeah, not, not for us. Right. Yeah, yeah. Evening, Roland's Reviews. Hello, hello. hello. Pete, good evening. Hello, mate. Mark's got Sabine. Awesome. Yeah, I, I've, I've got both versions of Sabine now. Because I was going to open up the older one, but she's got a bit of value of money to her. And obviously they brought that one out now, so for our touch, sell that one. No, I can't believe none of you got the Ewok. I mean, no love for the Ewoks. What? Or is, is he going to pull it out? No, no, no. He's oh, going to okay. pull out his Ewok. I'm back, I'm here, I'll pull my, my Ewok out. Pull my little yub yub out. <laughs> is it is it a chief? Is it is it a wicket or is it a chief chirper? That's the question. <laughs> it's definitely definitely a wicket. <laughs> yub yub. Yub yub. So massive shout out to Bobby, Bobby underscore 80s, Rob, who hooked me up with the Lightning Collection, Alpha uh, 5 and Zordon. Wicked. Which is, obviously, it's a Walmart exclusive, so none of the UK retailers were selling that. So, What's massive. in the top left corner? For the teddy bear? Yeah. That's, that, that's the bit that Andy wants. I want that. Little Alpha 5 teddy bear. Is that a thing? Yeah, like in the Christmas special, I think they gave they give him the teddy bear. That's I like that. That's a nice touch. That's cool. Yeah. So, absolutely buzzing for that. And then also he sent me this as well, which I don't know if, if you guys remember from the stream, but I didn't think this existed. I'm actually going to open it as well. 
I didn't think this existed, but it turns out it does, but it just never got released in the UK. I was just one of the, the baddie guys. Yeah. So it's all in it's all in plastic packaging, so it'll probably be really blurry on the uh, screen with the light. Entertain the crowd. Well, I make an absolute meal of getting this. Off. Well, we're we'll probably better. Oh, he's got it. Got it out. Yeah, okay. yeah. The news. So that's the bad guy from the uh, from the movie. Was it Ivan News? Ivan News. Yeah. Nineties action. Yeah. I, I I thought they it was out there and just never got made. But yeah, no, it turns out it did, but it was never released in the UK. Ah. Or it's or it's very very hard to find. They did a I see the. the like Bendham ones. Yeah, you can get the Bendham ones. Yeah. But is, that no, from, I, is that from Bobby as well? Yeah, yeah, he sent me that as well. Oh, what here? He was like, oh, there, yeah, like it doesn't exist here. You can't find it. And he was, he was like, oh, it's gone on eBay. I've got one for ten bucks for you. Like, <laughs> well, legend. legend. America. <laughs> <laughs> Rock yeah. flag and eagle. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's everything. Everything kind of turned up at once, which was quite handy. Um, a, a comment just I slightly. Should... Uh, Slightly earlier yes. on, I know exactly which one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have. Uh, yeah, we're Badger. not ignoring Badger. it. We, we, uh, we were going to mention that, so. Hundred percent haven't ignored it. Just yeah. Cracking on with it. A little bit of structure. Unlike last week, which went right off the rails. But uh, yeah, you know, right? Viennettes and everything. <laughs> I'm not. Hey, I really wanted cheese after last night. Uh, last week. I went and smashed three Arctic yeah. rolls and a Viennetta, mate. I was all good. <laughs> Matt, they are awesome. We will not be disappointed. Sabine's first appearance in comments is going up in price because of the Mandalorian trailer. Oh, so maybe maybe Sasha is Sabine, which is cool. Be funny if she wasn't, and it would just went up in price because people thought maybe she might be. I'd enjoy that. Yeah, he um yeah he got two because he was looking for one for himself, wasn't he? Ross, hello my friend, welcome, welcome, What's welcome. Up? Oh, I forgot one other thing. Sorry. Vic, you having a busy boy? My... Yeah, Vic got me this is from uh, what was the comic shop called? Nostalgia Comics in Birmingham. So it's the whole graphic novel for Shattered Grid. Oh, cool. So, Ross. So I've got to learn to read and I'll be able to read it. It's got pictures. It's a lot of work. Right? Oh, yeah. It's got pictures oh, too. Hang on, right? I won't try that picture because that's a bit of a spoiler is it, picture. Is it pop up? Is it, is it a pop up? There we go. Yeah, look, pictures. It's pop up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's a market, man. Do like a pop-up Power Ranger book, a pop-up him. But oh, I'm telling you, old anyone that's smarter than me that made pop-up books of old school '80s and '90s cartoons would be onto a winner because people like both those things. Which uh, Power Ranger one be cool? Like make my monster there is, there is a pop-up. Page, like yeah, massive there is like one. 3D gold and of, course, and of course, talking about new things, uh, Aaron is sitting in the newest, the most important thing, the the new place that you and Vicar now have moved into. So yeah. congrats on that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So it's uh, yeah, just all moving in, just, just living out of boxes at the moment, but stuff slowly uh slowly making sense. It was a mass like what was Sunday when we uh got all the Vic stuff in here, it was just like where do you start? Yeah. It and also just... you say, you say living out of boxes like uh, it's a new thing for people like us when everything we own goes <laughs> oh, sweet into a box or something else. Uh, uh I was a. Uh, Mom and dad have had anything sussed. Now all, all these things I thought happened by fairies. Well, now, when you go, now, yeah, who, who the hell has a whisk? I need to whisk. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I find that? You know it. You know it. So yes, R.I.P. Animal. Big. Yes. There you go. So I wasn't right. ignoring you. I was just Very making sad. sure we didn't digress. Yeah. Sixty. No age, is it? But uh, me and Hannah were talking about it, obviously, because he's John Laurinaitis' brother, isn't he? Um, so yeah, Legion of Doom, Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. Yeah, both. both I, I saw a great picture from it was doing the rounds on Instagram. I'm sure everyone's seen it, but it's like Hawk in the ring holding up the ropes, mm. Animal like you know, going into the ring. I don't know. Yeah. Who, I, I looked at him and was like, Why am I getting I've never met this guy. I've never, dude, I, I, I've only I ever seen him on TV, but I was like, I actually feel like a bit. About it, like I, I, I love, as you, I love demolition as a tag team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not, I'm not sure there isn't for, for our generation. I'm not sure there isn't a more iconic tag team than Legion of Doom, or yeah, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep calling Legion of Doom, but I appreciate everyone's going to go, Road Warriors. I get it. Uh, <laughs> like, they were visibly absolutely iconic. They were unbelievable in the ring. Their, 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 their um, mic work. Yeah, their, their presence and charisma was awesome. ev- everything, like, everything about yeah. them was absolutely pro. Uh, and it, and it's, it's just really sad. And we, again, yeah, we were talking, you, you start to look down the... Uh, the original 11 series of the Hasbro line. And it really was quite dangerous to be a uh, professional wrestler in the, in the eighties and nineties when you see how many and yeah. young, well, I mean, it's, that's what's sad. You, you go, Oh, you know, a, animal died and that sucks. And he was 60 and you think, Oh, you know, f- for a pro wrestler from that era, it's not a bad innings, but in real life, in any other form of life, that's no age 60. Yeah. Come on. Um, yeah. Sad. Just sad. Really. Just, just for me, who's a sort of an uneducated wrestling fan, mm. his tag team partner is he still alive? No, so Hawk Hawk died. Um, I want I want to say like two thousand and like I think things like mid two thousands, yeah, yeah, early to I, I should know, but yeah, um, and again, it was he was young, like young, yeah, he, well, yeah, 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 now, but, then, yeah, yeah, but um, yeah. Uh, again, a, a cocktail of yeah uh, issues or whatever. Yeah, just like people get addicted a lot to the painkillers and whatnot and other bits and pieces. And he lived, Hawk lived a very dude. If you've not seen it, I cannot recommend enough the particular episode about Hawk on a uh, Dark Side of the Ring. It's yeah, I still need to start catching up on them. I've watched a couple, but I'm, I'm, there's still a lot I haven't seen. Fully uh, it got me fully emotional. It's a really uh, it, it's a great set, and obviously it's got the Benoit um, double in it, and it's also got the uh, the Owen Hart. It's a very very series two is very very good. Series one's great, but series two is really good. But yeah, it's got kind of uh, the Hawk story as well, and obviously a lot sadder now. A lot of that is told by by Animal. So um, yeah, yep. but yes. Where do we go from there? We won't yeah. pick on. Well, Say what, guys? There's 38 people watching. If we get 30 likes, fix gonna come on. Yeah. Uh, 2003. 2003 is when Hawk. Oh, it was early, early, early. Passed okay. away. Yeah, I, I knew it was. I knew it was the start. Off. I was gonna say 2005. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. 2003. When, when do we get married? I don't know. Well, me and Aaron are already married, so I might have yeah. some words about that if that happens. We are. We are I mean, the white family. Twinsies, cousins. Yeah, I was going to say you guys are going down the uh, yeah, <laughs> and down the, the Cody Dina and uh, cousin Jake, <laughs> yeah. Also, who right. won the 20 pound belt? Well, Andy won't give it back, it's a hostage situation. Uh, oh, no, oh, oh, it's, in the, it's in the other room. I have it, but oh, that's think... good because we're not with you, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I keep meaning to like present it to you via the screen, like it's yours, that's you want it. It's not how the internet works, mate. You can't pass. Yeah, yes, you can't pass this. I, I've seen loads yeah. of TikTok videos where they like pass things into the camera, and the next person gets it like magic. I mean, what? You're telling me that's not real? It's not on my computer, mate. It's well old. I, I have to wind this bad boy up to get it working. Well, well I don't really understand TikTok, but I just thought there was a new magic thing going on with the internet. Wow. Tell me, like we, doing that, and then it's not there. I was what? expecting Claire to be there for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you be there with the belt. <laughs> She, she knows Wednesday nights, Claire's like, I'm not even coming in the front room. She knows it's not. <laughs> she knows the pure uh, the pure machismo moment, animal magnetism of, of the, us three guys talking about plastic toys from the 90s. <laughs> is, uh, it's too much for anyone to handle, if I'm totally honest. It, it, no. I struggle myself sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, I, 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 did win the, uh, I did win the challenge. Yes, and you did. I, I think they, you slaughtered me in the challenge. A pillow won the challenge. A pillow, absolutely. It was after, a pillow fight. And I feel, I feel a bit of justice for when I got slated for a pencil case, <laughs> a pencil set. They all slated me, and I got absolutely tanked in the vote. What? And then, and then, yeah, the I think pillow it was that came. Thermos. I think the thermos did it. What? What you don't know, Aaron? What you don't know, Aaron, is me and Andy are just like pencil case, thermos, coloring book. Jesus, Aaron, mate, sort yourself out, have a word with yourself. And then you walk off and me and Andy are like, it's a pretty nice pencil case. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a pretty nice find, that, I've got to be honest. <laughs> just, 
just just giving the fans what they want. But yeah, well, um, hopefully, hopefully, I'll, I'll uh, give it to you Saturday. Remind yeah. remind me for I'm working Friday till I think five or six, and then I've got to go and sort it all out. But I'll remind, I'll get it. For you. I'll definitely give it to you Saturday. Cool. You heard it here first, people. If Aaron doesn't have it next week, I do a free giveaway. If Aaron, if Aaron hasn't got it next week, I'll, I'll I'm my choice. I'm, I'm going to make another one. I need to make another belt anyway. I need to make another belt anyway for two reasons. One, because I actually have a logo now, so we could put all three of our logos on this it. This is true. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And, and, and number two, I should probably find one that isn't A, made for a child, and B, that actually actually connects around the waist so we can Velcro it on. 100%. Um, the, uh, the, 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 the gut is growing. And <laughs> Mate, well, you, you're like, you're living, you're living the... Uh, What's the word? You know, you, you and Vic are now doing your thing and, and living together. Get ready for the gut to grow because you're going to get right. comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> we, 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 were clean, we were cleaning her place up um, today and we smashed out a, at Warwick Service Station, smashed out a massive whop like Burger King meal. So it's like, it's happening. Push it. Push it. But, but what you'll find out is the two things that come up most often is our oh, kind bother to cook, let's just get something. And then also, Treat yourself. You know, yeah. you're a Burger King. Treat yourself, and then you go, "Oh, god damn it! None of my trousers fit. I've treated myself too much." Although I think this has play... been terrible for work for me and Claire, but we are constantly giving ourselves to the Domino's, but the like, it's like, uh... <laughs> hell yeah. Treat so, yourself. Um, so yeah, I actually played football for the first time since April. I played the same night, didn't I? It was the Monday. Yeah, yeah. Week. I thought I thought you guys. Had been playing together no no I've, I've, I've been playing for like 20 flipping years but i've not played for about a year because of being injury being injured and also being fat and lazy and uh they needed an extra and i was like all right yeah i need to do something i need to get moving and i i thought i i, I struggled and on tuesday yesterday i was struggling to walk like me my uh my glutes well <laughs> yeah, i've been struggling honestly, <laughs> honestly my ham meat was uh, was was sending shocking electric signals to my brain every time I put weight on it. I was like, "Ah, oh, that's it now." Um, but yeah, sports are bad. Sports are bad. Uh, well, I don't warm up either because I'm a moron. So it's like, "Oh, I'll be all right." I, I used to play over time and not warm up, and then you realise that that's how you get long term injuries. So yeah, the whole yeah. thing when like footballers take like, an hour before the game to warm up, you like, "Nah, flag and a Red Bull will do me," and then warm and then warm down again. Afterwards, <laughs> uh, again, another thing was missed because you you finish playing. I'm like chatting away. I am having my post match cigarette, and I was like, yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna be sick. I need to go home immediately because <laughs> you're not uh, didn't warm down properly. But yeah, look at Superman pop up book. Okay, so yeah, they do make them. I remember having a pop up book. It was like a hor- like a Halloweeny kind of horror one. Made a lot of them. I had a, I had a fungus the bogeyman pop up book. And yeah, like, uh, I remember having yeah. that. Who's the uh, is it the little the little vampire? I can't remember his name now. Count uh, Dracula? Not no. du- not not Dracula, not Dracula. There was like I think he was just called the littlest the little vampire. Or I can't remember. Little green dude. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't think what his name is, but yeah. yeah Maybe it was the littlest vampire. Or just a little vampire or something. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, P. P. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Evening, Brad. Evening. 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 Yeah. I was jumping on those likes. How many likes hey, is it? hey that, that comes across as a bit thirsty, mate. Just one likes enough. Three doesn't count for three. That's still just one person. <laughs> Twenty-five. Five more, and, and Vic will make an appearance. She's literally just going to stick her head in and be like, "All right, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give the crowd what they want." <laughs> right now, she's in the she's in the room, probably sitting there going, "You absolute like." And I feel like what's it? The um, I feel like the Ralph meme, like chuckles. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> she's behind you going like Aaron I've not done my makeup um, I've not done my hair <laughs> whereas, whereas we're just, just like oh t- yeah, time's yeah, doing you know, right? oh, oh you know what the reason me and Aaron both wear hats isn't because like we're trying to match or be cool it's because look at the state of this you've got months ahead of me but yeah the mine is yeah it's not it's, it's, it's not a um, it's not a fashion thing it's a uh, keep the hair out my eyes thing I honestly feel like next next which chat we do, I'm going to get glasses, a hat, and just shave my beard again and just have a tash. Well, you know how I feel about your tash. I thought it was glorious. It was pretty man. strong, right? <laughs> oh, your tash game was... Yeah, was tash uh, game. 
what what are the what do the kids say these days? Fleek? I don't even know what that means. Peng? I don't know. <laughs> Talk about question. Do any of you anyone has any Kenner carded alien figures for sale? Didn't Tom get I some? Think, yeah. I think Tom picked some up. Yeah, we're, we're, Pizarro we're, 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 has some. Yeah, hook up hit up Pizarro. He's got uh he bought a lot of Terminator and and, and Scott mm. as well got a bunch of uh Yeah, I was gonna I thought Bromley Pickers, but no, I think it's Scott. But well, Scott we, won't be selling, though, will he? He won't, but you could always give him a shout and do a deal. But uh, uh yeah, mate, does, does, does Robbo have any? He did. Again, the danger with the uh, with with the vintage toy game is as soon as you see someone's got something, uh, and that, like nine times out of ten, it it's gone by the time someone asks about it. But yeah, hundred percent. I'm not not that we're talking about it today because we're cutting down. But that was one of my uh, things I was going to mention later on. My attacks, one of my original. That's one of the first uh, carded things that I bought with my own my own money. Yeah. Another one, another one for Vic. I mean, it's almost like we're not enough for you guys, but you know, yeah. Vic loves out. Public presentation of the belt on Saturday. Yeah, I think so. 100%. If we can get hold of a microphone and stuff, we can yeah. do a you know. I think I think music you, going. You just set that ring up. You should set the say, ring up set, as well. Set, set the ring up. We could do an announcement. Yeah, it'd be, be brilliant. Dan can come out of the uh, out of one of the things and just attack us on stage. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna zip. I was gonna, I was gonna shame McMahon it off the. Uh, off the roof. Ah. Oh, gee. <laughs> Throw me over the balcony into the cake cellar or the bread yeah. man, whatever his name is. Right? I definitely think I'll have a, a Drew McIntyre kind of thing or on the turnbuckles, just like, oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, fair play to you if you want to wear those sorts of pants. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it'll if Adam didn't like me in a vest, he's going to like me less in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was like, I'm actually wearing any of it. I'll get my oh, Superman right. one. Yeah. yeah, we'll hit you up with that if you can do us a, a logo for the £20 challenge. That'd be cool, man. Just like, just with all three of our logos, but but belt size. So the belt itself is the three of our logos. But the, it has to say has to say £20 on it somewhere. And it all, and it has to be as has to be as budget and rubbish as possible. But because, also you know, kind of look you like you want to win it. I don't think I don't think anyone's really wanted to win this belt <laughs> since I made it. As in, like for the for the glory, oh, but not for the object. I mean, it's a hassle. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of, it's more of a punishment to have to carry this thing and bring it with me. Is that, is that it's so it's like oh yeah, do you have the belt? Oh no, <laughs> I really don't. Like I brought all the toys with me to sell. Like last yeah. thing I had on my mind was bringing was bring a child, plastic piece of crap. <laughs> a child's plastic belt that doesn't actually do up anymore. Little Dracula, thank you. Yes, it is Little Dracula. That, that, it? Yeah, but the, the fact that it doesn't do up anymore is probably more our fault for letting ourselves no, no, go. No, 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 it never did. <laughs> no, it, it was too small. It was, it was too, too from small. the beginning. It was too small. And and it hasn't got one of the pieces of Velcro on it. It's it shrunk in the wash. It shrunk came out from the, it came, it came out from um, from uh, one of the shots. It's, it's it's budget, just like we are. Therefore, that's why we used it. It's it's amazing. It's not like a photocopy twenty pound note on it. <laughs> I did, yeah. That's exactly what I did. Which I believe, am I right? Saying the photocopy of money is like treason. Yeah. <laughs> technically, yeah. Whoops. But I think... well, I've got I've got a fake note from the shop, so we could technically stick a fake note on it. But then I don't know if we'd get in trouble for that. I feel like it. I feel like that might be attracting people to try and steal the belt because it would look like a real twenty pound note. Or yeah, but think jokes it on them because it's fake. <laughs> yeah, but they'd also think it was a real pound, and that makes us look like we're, we're, we're like money means that little to us. We've just sell a tape twenty pounds to a, a child's belt. That wouldn't be very cool. Definitely I mean, if you're gonna go go, go, go go with the red fifty if you're gonna go, mate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we get oh, fakes of them as well. Imagine going into a car boot sale, fifty quid to buy toys. You can walk away with like. Well, you probably can't walk away with anything now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'd be awesome. But how bad would you feel if you went in with a 50, like to the first seller, and they're like, oh, it's a pound. You're like, you've got change. Yeah. Like, oh, well, that would be hilarious. <laughs> no, because if that happens to me, I'd be like, are you kidding? Like, just have it. Either have it or just walk off. Like, well, uh, and, and that's where you go wrong, Andy, because the answer is no, I don't have change. Go and speak to uh, either the organisers or come back when you've got change. But you don't go, no, just have it, because then you do yourself out of a pair. <laughs> I can't be dealing with the hassle. Too early. Just leave me alone. <laughs> right. Right. We've hit 30 <laughs> likes. You've got 30 likes. likes. Yeah. Vic, right, show I'm your face. Out. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, 
We're moving over to the toy, we're moving over to the toy division only fans account. Set cameo, support me on, support me on cameo. Yeah, Vic, Vic I've, I've put my reputation on the line here. <laughs> Sounds like she's locked in a basement. <laughs> Do you reckon, a Andy? Andy, <laughs> would, would the would the rope reach that far? <laughs> right, she will be. She will be coming up late. So, uh, <laughs> what's she? Uh, a, I'm on. not allowed to swear, but you can. Oh, 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 we don't swear. We were talking just... about YouTube. Suggestions are amazing, but just do not swear. We were simply insinuating that Aaron and Vic have moved into some kind of Fritzel dungeon. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> right before um, we, we did actually talk about um, figures that we still have or love, kid. So if if one of us wants to uh, go first before Vic turns up, oh. All right. oh. I'm Andy. straight on in there. Andy. Okay. Andy on the now, I'm sure we've mentioned this before, but Probably have. none of us can really remember what we've ever talked about other than cheese hedgehogs. But, um, we're, quite, we're quite old quite old and fat these days, so let's go yeah. over it. <laughs> there was a lot of, uh, a lot of alcohol with, uh, yeah. Why this guy from my This guy screams my childhood at me. Does he still, still light up, still work? Uh, he does. I don't have a battery in the... Uh, finger thing but i do have it and he does light up and the mum rod i have also lights up as well nice but they're um yeah the thundercats are awesome they were definitely my favorite cartoon and favorite figures as a kid there's there's, there's something quite disappointing about seeing a uh a, a vintage lino with a major league face scuff the other one she sees that that almost the whole face oh, yeah, no, this one's pretty this guy's pretty clean that's nice that's that's really nice it, now, Obviously, that, this isn't the one I had as a kid. This is I was going to say, is, is that the original one or is this one? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I, I stupidly sold all my Thundercats when I was uh, getting into girls and alcohol and stuff and, you know, thought oh, I didn't need toys. Weird, weird way to boast about it, but that's fine. She I was actually falling down a rabbit hole of being an alcoholic, not joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just sold everything. Like, yeah. But I regret it because I had, like, I had the big three. I had, like, Bengali... Link so from Myra. You have a Tungosaurus, whatever it's called. Uh, no, I never got a Tungosaurus. I've yeah, got, got to hold that one that Robbo bought. That's the closest I've yes, ever yeah. got. I, was like, I, I, I wouldn't mind going to Ian Chop just to ask him if I can just cradle it for a little bit. Dude, Ian's been getting some crazy stuff in the old vintage toy, uh, toy monster. Uh, oh, you know, yeah. he's got the American werewolf, um, like full on face mask. Yeah, yeah that was like, it was like a bust. It was a one one face bust. I was tempted, but I thought, no, I've got nowhere to put it. Uh, yeah, he's got some cool stuff. That's what he put like a bit of those, like casual walking, and it was literally like a whole Thundercat set, like cats layer in their box. I, I saw like that's not I casual. Even I, was, I was like casual walking, <laughs> like Jesus. Uh, today's walking, I'm like, I must have backed to truck into your shop to get all that in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, so uh, Thundercats is one of my go to favorite toys. You are a Thundercat person, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aaron, yeah. you got son, you got son, oh, son, son. Yeah, I'm gonna go for something a bit different. Um little Star Wars character, little Luke Skywalker. Sorry, well, this is what, just deja, I'm sure we've done this discussion before. I think we have because I'm it doesn't matter. We would probably do one on when, when we met up two years ago and I said he's got arms like Beetlejuice, but he's pretty cool. I think we did this like when we were doing pre recorded ones. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there you go. But yeah, that's, that's the, the expanded universe one, right? The um, yeah. Uh, what's his? Yeah, dark yeah. Movie. When he tells the dark side, which is yeah. basically what the new film should have been, not this rubbish that we got. But yeah, yeah. No, I just liked him like as a kid. Didn't know anything about him. Just sort of this cool toy that you look back like. I just love the arms on him. Like I know you said they're cool. They're cool. Yeah, he comes with a, obviously comes with a red lightsaber. Just look. Bad. It, it, it almost makes Luke look like a like a bad boy as opposed to a whiny child, which is it does. It comes with that cool kind of I think as well as like it comes with that cool sort of like matrixy style kind of like cape and all like yeah. Yeah. Nah. So, and yeah, that I that was one I opened as a kid. And I, he like was mine as a kid as well. So well, that's great. Yeah. Love it. Cool. Right, well, I've got uh, hey, I've got we did speak about this before, but then we cut it out because we realised we were chatting for like 17 hours or something, one of the first toy division. So I thought I'd bring it out again for a 
for a fresh release. It's me, uh, it's me, Action Force Robo Skull. Yay. Ba, 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 nice. Ba. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is awesome. If that wasn't so expensive, I wouldn't mind getting that. But I'm not. I'd rather spend the money on something else. They're super cool, man. The Robo Skull yeah. with the uh, with the with the Red Wolf. Nice. Uh, uh, yeah, 84, 85, something like that. Um, Pally toy, I think. Yeah. Again, just like you, Andy, I had one of these, but it wasn't complete. I sold my one of these and then regretted it and then bought a complete one maybe, oh, God, 10, 10 years ago, maybe maybe 10 years ago. So, so this this is not my, because my, orig my original one wasn't original. I got it from a flipping jumble sale. So, But it, but it did have, it had both. It's uh, It wasn't just a skull. It had both the wings, but I don't think I had any arm guns. I only had three of the feet, which is more annoying than having none of the feet. And I didn't have the uh, the sides kind of chin gun bit. So this yeah, this is a complete one. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. So there we go. Yeah. My uh, Robo Skull. It's a, you know, uh, you know, like they don't make toys like that anymore. They really don't make toys like this anymore. A giant flying red skull. It's awesome. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's cool. I still like the amount of money that things worth. And I still remember like that summer thing that I went to as like a six year old, seven year old kid during the summer yeah, right. holidays. Yeah. And one of them was in there. Like, it was battered. Like, the kids played with it. It was played with. But it was just in this box of toys. Do you know what I mean? There was loads of, like, 80s toys in there and stuff. But Do you say, do you say it was like it was just the skull, though? Like, no wings? It was just the red middle bit? I don't maybe remember the wings. Maybe it had a wing, yeah. Definitely. Because, like, you can't not remember that massive red skull. It's, it's, it's iconic. Like, genuinely, as far as sort of action force goes, as, as, as you know, like, red shadows, the, the flying skulls is properly... It's iconic. Yeah. Yeah, Dark Empire is very cool. Mark's a bit. Yeah, yeah, love, yeah. All love for the Robo Skull. Yeah, no, that's, I think I think that the uh, that was love for Luke. That's some big love for Luke. Yeah. yeah. Luke. Expanded Universe Kenner uh, ninety six probably came out. They came out on green backers, and um, there was loads of them. You can get like a Princess Leia. You get like a Clone Empire, Dark Trooper. It's really cool. Yeah. I have a Leia and Arkin. I think it is for sale mm. at the. Uh, Chat and fair on Saturday, just so oh, getting them in. I've got a, uh, I've, I've got a <laughs> vintage attack for sale. I'm just throwing that in there right now. I've got an attack for sale. Someone buy my stuff. <laughs> Are you well, back playing Big five Steve. Side Hello, mates. Hope you're well. We we're just talking uh, about no, playing football. Welcome. Yeah, we mentioned that we all come back playing football. Yeah. Well, you two. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't think that will ever happen. Hey, <laughs> They've exchanged. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I will let you know if I ever sell. It's one of the things I don't know if I would sell because it really is kind of part of my um life. My, well, my, no, just my my childhood. There's you know that my dreadnoughts and my and my uh is it stinger? I can't my my night stinger. As far as GI Joe Action Force goes, they're they're yeah. like my staples. Anything else, I don't really care about. Hello, Victoria. Hey, you doing? Hello. It's no space here. <laughs> kick, kick, kick him out. Yeah, do you, do you want me to, should I just, should I just, should I just leave? Nah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Can't move the chair. God, it's the Zoom chat with Martin all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. How, you uh, you enjoying being moved in, sort of? Kind of. <laughs> As in, still everything sort of, in boxes. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll but take... at least I got my collection out. Yeah. So that was the first thing. Yeah. It took me around. Most important thing. Yeah, it took me around. I don't know how many hours. Five. Yeah, well, I was probably like four or five hours. Yeah, I was at work all day, but. Yeah. Oh, so, so she Vic kindly worked, waited for you to go to work and then put a collection out, thus taking up all the space you were going to use. So what yeah. we see yeah. behind Aaron, that's all that he's got <laughs> in the whole house. Yeah, yeah. But even he said my collection and layout looks better than his. It really, <laughs> does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Well, put some. Put, have you put we, need to, we need to. We need. Yeah. We need to see. Put some. Put some Insta pictures up. Does it even exist if it's not online? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will. I will. Well, we're gonna make a collection with though. Yeah, we'll do a room tour. Definitely. Sweet. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Very nice. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah. The okay. Love, love of it. Big, big oh, up. Red Rover Skulls, a holy grail. <laughs> uh, it it got really expensive all of a sudden for no reason other than it's awesome. Which I guess is a good reason. The only reason. Yeah. Bye. See you later. Bye. He's gone. <laughs> right, you're, 
Did I touch my, did I touch my stuff? Great. <laughs> <laughs> All I can hear is the cabinets like shaking. <laughs> if we get 50 likes, I'll, I'll get my cat on. <laughs> I want to see that. I want yeah. to see that. Vixen, Vixen go make like 45 what? burner account. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, Carlos, I'll do, I'll do a room tour video. Definitely will. Move the yeah. girl power. Hello, mate. Welcome, my buddy. Hello, hello. Yes. Well, it's one for the cat. <laughs> <laughs> my, oh. my internet's messing up again, and I'm just trying not to. And, and he's trying to swear and throw things against the yeah. wall. But, yeah, we can still hear you, if man. It, we can well, still hear you. Well, yeah, if it cuts, if it cuts out bad, I'll just go and come back again. Yeah, yeah, no worries, dude. No worries, dude. I mean, uh, yeah, I, never I, half some. They should just do it. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't like to get Hannah on because she knows a lot more about everything than I do, and it, may, it 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 really underlines how much I just wing everything in my life. So yeah, Hannah, what? You, you you don't want no, she's you don't want to come on. You don't want to say hello online, do you? I am. Not. She's not interested. See, <laughs> she's not interested. But nerds, the nerds. No, but uh, yeah, she knows more about a lot of the stuff that I talk about, like I know about it. So it's best that she stays away. Stay away. Show you up. You show me up. Come on now. Yeah. Where do you think I get all my knowledge from? Don't She's not got her eyebrows. Apparently, it's apparently a thing for girls. I mean, I've I've got what can only be described as as a as a happy shopper mullet, and I'm still here. So I don't know what your excuse is. I've got the wrong kind of eyebrows. So she has got eyebrows on. I've got eyebrows on, mate. They're not on fleek for the live stream. Eyebrows are not on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Vic, come back. <laughs> Watchers, zero. What? <laughs> oh, mate, I'm in set stuff going on. She's not commenting in the. This is, yeah, this is weird. Yeah, yeah. we'll get Vic on for a, for a full full chat. Yeah. Always better than getting them on. Wait, don't get. Man, we asked you to come on, and you, you said no. Yeah, you, you, you threw us <laughs> out. You were like, no, I'm too big for this. I'm too I'm too busy living yeah. a life. Well, oh, come on, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where else would you want to be? Like, got people thinking they could be playing football on a Wednesday night? Ah, it's disgraceful. It's, it's an outrage. Yeah, all right. Aren't they good? Didn't I see they're going to stop the football, though? Like, like oh, groups of six outside. Probably, football. um... Indoor, we were go, indoor sports, though, I've stopped. Yeah, we were going to go back to playing indoor football, but we basically we got the green light on Sunday to do it, and obviously today, a, like football lot got an email basically saying, "Yeah, no, not anymore." But we can think, still play. We can see we still play power league. Yeah, I play outdoor six aside, but uh, indoor will definitely be stopped. Yeah, yeah, very nice. You can play sports. Yeah, I, I just missed half of that conversation as we went. Whip, 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 whip. Oh man, you paid it. We were talking about sports. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're talking about football. Don't worry about yeah. it. Um, yeah, Hall of Wrestlers. Hundred pound buy, three hundred fifty pound sell. That's good, man. That's good. Did you keep any yourself? Is there any in there that you kept for your collection, or did you uh, flip the whole lot? But yeah, very good for for a hundred quid buy. Yeah. Well done. Mm. Well done. Impressed with that. Absolutely. What's the money going to be spent on? That More wrestlers. Question. More Undoubtedly. wrestlers, more toys. Yeah. I've got to get the Matt Riddle elite. I mean, I don't have to, but you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, well, and what's, what's funny about that, dude, is uh, that's not exclusive to me being online. That's just how I live my life. <laughs> just getting correct. <laughs> <laughs> I think what you meant to say was, oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a wrestling show. We should do a wrestling show. In fact, we should actually try and hook something up to do like a um a post. Uh, what's coming up? We've got uh, Clash of Champions this Sunday, I think. Are they, are they still? Yeah, they, yeah. Are they still like giving them every everything has to have a stupid name now. Raw's no Raw's like Raw in your face, and Clash of Champions is like Gold Rush. And yeah. uh, you'll never. Well, see they're it trying to make you think all the titles are going to change hands, but probably nothing will happen. 
Yeah, but what, I, what's happened like, to Otis? Is Otis, is Otis like just lost his money in the bank or whatever? They don't know what they're doing with it at all, and I reckon they'll end up taking it off him. Yeah. Is that because he wasn't supposed to win it, or no, no, he was supposed to win it, but like all the storylines, Retribution, Mandy Rose, Otis, whatever, they have no idea what, what they're doing with it, and I think Vince has lost his mind a bit. They don't know what they're doing, yeah. so they should let him just cash it in for the tag team titles. Yeah, but uh, yeah, well, uh, we agree, Hannah, that he will lose it uh, against against who? G- genuinely against who? Again, again, what against? Um, so he's pro- if, if still against, freezing against the street profits, no. or against uh, who's, who's it's, no, it's, it's, it's Shinokanova, whatever his name is, Shinsuke. Shinsuke. Shinsuke and yeah, Cesaro. do it against Shinsuke and Cesaro. I can't stand them. Let them let them fade out into nothing. If you've got a bad word to say about Shinsuke, me and you are going to fall out. The guy's a hero. I used he's, to really like him. I used to really treasure. like him. He's he's a treasure. I think they've really misused him again. He's a treasure, mate. They've got, really misused him. He, he was were, really good at the beginning. Dude, he's no. he's an incredible wrestler who wears an incredible jumpsuit. I know Aaron's playing with Power Rangers now. He's completely lost interest in the the wrestling talk. All right, mate. We'll do a re- we'll do we'll do a wrestling show with with Adam, and we'll talk about um. We'll talk yeah. About, yeah. We we'll talk about Cesaro's nipples and um and uh, and Shinsuke's very very low jumpsuit. Oh, you like the jumpsuit, then, don't you? I love the jumpsuit. I'd wear one myself if I could if it was acceptable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> up, right? Just wear a jumpsuit and Hannah burst out laughing. I'm gonna find you one for Christmas. I've, that's my Christmas present sorted out. A nice leather jumpsuit. Nice. nice. Down. <laughs> Nice. Are you looking forward to meeting the Red Ranger and getting anything signed? Uh, yes, I am going to get something signed. Definitely. Your little Red Rocket. <laughs> yeah, my little, ty- my little uh, Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> my Thunder Megazord. <laughs> Aaron's yeah, Aaron, like... Aaron, Aaron might be, Aaron might be uh, sick of sight of the Red Ranger because uh, he's you're essentially his not right-hand man on a Saturday. That's not correct, but you are stalling next to where... I mean, yeah, yeah. So, it makes absolute okay. sense to do that because you are Mr. Mr. Ranger. But like, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite a good day for you, I think. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, no, me and him will be next to each other. So um, be interesting. Hopefully, hopefully it works out well. Hmm. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm speaking to Steve a lot. So uh, got a few other plans with him in place. Uh, I've been in touch. Steve now is it first name? Yeah, term. yeah, yeah Steve. Yeah, yeah. We, we, just, we just we just chat, you know. That's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, is that, is that a name drop? Sorry, did I just... <laughs> Until he sees there. this and goes, who's that guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, right? <laughs> this guy is too nerdy for me. He's too much. He's yeah. just too much. <laughs> but no, no, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Like, Steve's a really good guy. I've met him a couple of times beforehand. And yeah, no, he's, a, he's, a, he's a really good... If you're a Power Ranger fan, you will not be disappointed. Definitely. Good. James is laughing at us. Just in general. In general, I don't blame him. He's in, he's a uh, he's la- he's laughing at Aaron's uh, fully committed um, relationship with uh, Steve the Red Ranger. <laughs> but you said he was a Blue Ranger as well, right? In Zio, was he? Yeah, Zio. Yeah. Oh, look at that! It's almost like I know some Power Rangers, but I just read You've it. Been listening. I, I simply remembered that from um, I think one of uh, Adam uh, Zook's posts. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was Blue Zio. So, yeah, more cool. Good to spend more toys, yeah. Spend that, spend that fig money on figs, hundred percent. Yeah, you, we, we've all got to buy four uh, Rick Rude elites now since they repackaged him. <laughs> Again, no, you, you've got to buy. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, not, I'm not going to. I'm not buying it just because the robe's in a different position. It's just stupid. BS, absolute BS. Nick, mm. Nick, division. You're like, look what I got. <laughs> So, guys, it happened. What the other two? <laughs> What's your favourite Mighty Ducks? Uh, D1 for me. Yeah. No. Two. Never seen it. Uh, and, and do you remember which one round one, uh, two and three are? Two's when they do, like, the championship in the States, isn't it? Uh, yes. And three's when they do, like, an international championship. Yeah, they're at, like university or something like that yeah okay yeah okay. i'm not a fan of th- three's good yeah, yeah definitely one and two but i think i prefer two better yeah. i think they're in canada i feel what, like they went to like the winter olympics or something 
Yes, that sounds very like it should be right. I mean, yeah. I said I'd really like it, so I should know. But I'm pretty, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, it could. I don't, I don't know which one it is, but I like that one where there's there's an underdog sports team, and you think like they're going to lose, but then uh, at the end they they come come good. Um, whilst facing trials along the way and at one point you're like they're definitely going to lose but then they either win or they don't win but they win like the moral victory because they come out as better people i like that one yeah yeah. you won't like these films then because they lose all the time but do they, but do they come out moral victory Mo like moral victors oh yeah, yeah. right no right <laughs> they, they turns out Emilio well. Estevez just uh, fiddles with the kids Emilio i love Emilio Estevez young guns and young guns too forever But um, so there's a there's, there is a great scene in it though when, when the best player from the um from one team turns out that he lives in a different area and they got the area wrong and he has to join the Mighty Ducks and there's a big oh my god so yeah I'm being told that's the first one yeah it's the first one that is yeah. the best one that's the best one apparently I'm going with Hannah number one's the best one number one's the best I like the spelling mistake in that need base that's like the older they get the less interested I am. That's a creepy way of looking at life. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, ditto, but like, <laughs> to say it out loud, it seems a bit weird. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, yes, he is doing this. Uh, the Steve, Steve, yeah. big Steve, my mate Steve, he is doing a thing at Nerdbase, but we also call it Need Base. <laughs> <laughs> it could be called Need Base because you, you go in there and you're like, like oh, need, 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 yeah. need. Didn't know I needed yeah. that. Bring bring some cash. That's what yeah. I, but yeah, that is yeah. yeah. Big up Craig. Big up Craig at Nerdbase. Quite legend. He did actually join Nerdbase. That's right. I quite, I quite like the name Needbase. <laughs> Needbase. Yeah. I to be honest, Vic's a bigger collector than I am. Like yeah. yeah. She's the, she's she's definitely uh, an enabler. Oh, I don't and know if I should. Yeah, sorry, you can say pay, that. Don't know if I should pay twenty pounds on a, a figure, and Vic's like, "Yes, you do," and I'm buying one as well. Oh, is that I was going to say? Is that what you get? I get I get only twenty pounds. You should buy two, and while you're there, you should get me this. Um, <laughs> Hannah got Hannah, Hannah's actually the one that got me back into wrestling. I I, I stopped watching for many years, so yeah, she is. Uh, it's good, as, as Aaron will say. It's awesome having similar interests with your with your partner, and it's awesome that they're into it. And I'm never going to disrespect that. But it's it's also can be quite expensive. Yeah, uh, but you know, you win some, lose some. But no, no, it's like I said, we'll do, we'll do a, a tour of her her um, collection that she's got in there, and it it makes this look rubbish. And it's all her own stuff, like so. It's good. It's good. Good. Gary Reynolds, no, there is no NEC. There will be no NEC this year. We know Barry Potter's this year. There might only be literally Chatham and maybe a couple of other small... Uh, top and one as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I, Didn't yeah. Um, the guys who run, is it Mel Melvin? Melvin? They put one on. Mm. But I think, yeah, I, I don't know. Everything could change. But as far as NEC, go, like, as in for the, for the worst, if there's another proper lockdown... And if they actually have to start using the Nightingale hospitals, there might never be another NEC again until, well, that's a bit yeah, dramatic, yeah. until it all yeah, passes. Yeah. No, no, stand out. Um, I think they were packing down the NEC and they've been told to re reinstate it, I think. Yeah, that they, they just got it down to skeleton. And that was one of the, mis I think, misconceptions from the general public of like, we didn't even need them. It's like, yeah, it's, it's not for them necessarily, thank, thank God, but it is for potential. Mm. So, uh, yeah. But no, the no just gonna, I honestly think the winter is going to be worse and they will end up using it just to try and spread people around so they're not all in hospitals. Could be. Who knows? I mean, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, none of us are medical professionals. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've watched, a few, I've watched a few YouTube videos on it, so I think I've got a good oh, yeah. idea. I mean, I've seen oh. so many Facebook posts. I'm basically a heart surgeon now. Yeah, you know, right? I'm not a doctor, but I'll take a look. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> dude, I've, I've not seen The Lion King. Like, it's embarrassing the films that I've, I've not seen. I've, 
like I said before, man, you want to talk to me about John Woo films and Peter Jackson horror films. That's my youth as opposed to uh, there's loads of Disney films I'm not seeing and there's your classic 80s films. I, yeah, I'm too old, too old now. Yes, I did. I watched the White Ducks cartoon. That I, I might have seen. That, I might have seen. That, that flew over my head. Yeah, they, they were like, oh, I've got the figure. I've got one of the figures up there. But basically, they were ducks. They were like extraterrestrial aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what I remember as in from... Which I think is where this logo actually comes from. I think you're right. Like the actual Mighty Ducks from the film had a different logo to this and then it they transferred was it, it over. Was actually a hockey team called the Mighty Ducks or was it yeah. just because of the film? No, the, the, yeah. So Disney in Anaheim, I think it is, they Disney basically made their own hockey team and called it the Anaheim Ducks. Well, I... No, they were called the Mighty Ducks, I think. But now I don't know if they're part of Disney now because they're called the Anaheim Ducks. They've got a different name now, so okay. Franchises. Oh, bless, bless Disney! Like, what do we do now? We want an ice hockey team. <laughs> like, yeah. There you go. D two was the winner. Team USA. There we go. And do they win or lose, but learn an important lesson along the way? I mean, I'm never gonna know. I'm never gonna know. <laughs> I bet the Ice Ducks that couldn't ice skate. Which one was that? Is that, is that Goldberg? Seth, is, is, that, is that Seth Green? Is Seth Green in the Mighty Ducks? No. I don't I'm just so. trying to think of people that are in Idle, Idle Hands, which also has Jessica Alba. <laughs> is the guy from Dawson's Creek in Idle Hands? What? James Van Der Beek or... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or the Josh... Whatever oh, called. Van Der Beek. I don't know. No, it's not him, is it? No. I don't, that film was no. awesome. It's not a bad film. It had a good soundtrack as well, if I remember correctly. It's quite a, a sort of 90s punk soundtrack. Jimmy's got like the Mighty Ducks facts. I can, I can see. Yeah, I, I know, can, right? You'll have a copy and paste in Wikipedia. <laughs> or, <laughs> he knows I, he's Mighty Ducks. I understand why I've annoyed Jimmy so much by not seeing Mighty Ducks. The man obviously loves Mighty Ducks. <laughs> the main player in D2 Team Iceland is the goalie in D2. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, these things don't need to be made, I don't think. I think just let it be. The first one is that, like, I actually, I watched the first one, uh, not so, I think, like, the first, like, during lockdown. Yeah, I, I did it, all three of them. We yeah, Disney. I think I only watched yeah. the first one. And there's so many, like, subtle comments and references that you actually reach it and you're like, they wouldn't get away with that now. But, like, back then it was like, like, yeah. But it was funny. It was good. I love it. Bank sucks. He does. Yeah. He's the one. He's the one that lives in the different area code. Ah, uh, uh, him. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought. I thought that at first. I thought that was a a, a, a throwback to the Sasha Banks uh, being in a Mandalorian, and then I was thinking, is he's this just got a really bad interest rate or something? It's just yeah. It's just just a random protest against capitalism. I don't know what's going on, but if that's a Mighty Ducks character, then uh, I get it. But I'd agree. I'd agree with the Banks auto suck. Banks do suck, yeah. Banks are, are, are terrible, terrible things. Too bad that they did not use the opportunity to do the NEC toy for at the car park. No, that would have been a good idea. It was a big old space. Yeah, yeah definitely. Marquis. Hmm. You know, whatever weekend they would have planned that, it would have poured with rain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you, remember, do you remember the one we did earlier on in the year and the wind? Oh, God, Jimmy. Oh. I mean, that truck almost blew over. Like I went almost parked in the in the car park. The yeah, yeah. I opened the curtains and let the wind through it because it was like mm. that was the that was the last one, wasn't it? That was the February one. Yeah, yeah. I think that was yeah. the last. Yeah. one. Did. Everyone was like, "Don't drive, you're all gonna die." <laughs> when, when, in, when in reality, we didn't, and I made a bunch of money. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was one of those things. I, I do remember though driving up in like the, in the in the Formula Four Galaxy and literally just like, oh my god, <laughs> just like. <laughs> The wobble on, but then it was like, no, no, go on, go on. When we parked in the car park, and you're just sitting there waiting to be let into the car park, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> wind, and you're like, one of these cars is going to blow over in a minute. Yeah, it's like it's it's that windy. It, I think the main concern was like, is anyone actually going to turn up? But it turned out to be a um a genuinely yeah. really good one, a really good one. But yeah, there was a, a there was a severe weather warning about that. It was pretty windy. Every NEC, there's always a severe weather warning. Snow, 
wind, yeah. rain. So had it had it been that level of wind, I don't think an outdoor one in the car park would have uh, no. happened. <laughs> you know that that was bad. Uh, yeah, no. I think yeah there is there is a Norwich toy fair. Uh, Robo does it, I think. Mm. I'm not too sure if In Demand Toys actually run it or they just have a stall there. I can't find the little flyer that came with the uh, figures. It actually has it on there. Oh, no, it just says, just says join us at the Norwich Toy Fair. No. Doesn't have any dates. Four times a year. Check out Facebook.com Norwich Toy Fairs for more info. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be that dude and say I'm glad they're doing it, obviously, and I hope people go to it, but Norwich is a properly long way from a Yeah, it's a mission for us. Yeah. It's a long That's way. the only thing that really annoys me. I really want to go to the in demand shop. Mm. But it's in Norwich. Yeah. But maybe we should go for a, a, a night away. Can you say that less creepily? <laughs> yeah, I know, like, right? <laughs> Do I need to bring the Vaseline for this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> just, just, just leave some food in there. Leave, leave some food for Vic where she can reach it. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank for the water bottle up. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, this is a minimalist. Now I'm at minimalist. She also threatened to get rid of my toys in my sleep. You don't need that negativity in your life, man. See, I, I'm, I'm with these guys in the chats. I mean, I don't really get, I don't get threats. I get promises. They often <laughs> disappear. I'm really sad. Oh, please help. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Andy, Andy. If you're looking over his shoulder now. That's even worrying. Andy, if you are there against your will, blink three times. <laughs> no, but yeah, my, missus, my, my lady doesn't. Collect, but she like, doesn't. She, going, she, doesn't stop, she doesn't stop you from collecting, though. No, no, no. Only when it comes to like, can we can we afford food and rent, or do you need well, to buy time, another toy? Yeah, that time mm. you were, that time you were thinking about dropping like six grand on something. I remember, and uh, it was definitely a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that didn't happen, but that was uh, that went well. Yeah. Are you going? No, no, Pete, I won't be because I don't like Back to the Future. <laughs> Ah, Back to the Future. Again, like, every time I said... Like, you get through you last week as well. Last time I was like, what is BT? I was sitting there going, bring me the... Not for, Horizon. For, for Horizon? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bullet, for, yeah. no. 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 It, when, is that even going to be on, though? I thought theatres were also chart. Out, outdoor cinema it will probably continue, I would imagine. Uh, no, but theatre makes me think inside. Like, theatre... <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, they, like that cinemas, they have to keep things open to a certain degree, or they have to pay them to close, and then they're not going to yeah, pay them. To I mean, close. so yeah. like, but uh, no, not for me, Pete. Although I respect the tradition and the uh, heritage of Back to the Future. In fact, uh, I even I even respect people that like Back to the Future for, for whatever reason. I like Crispin Glover, so there's that. But as far as films go, not not my bag. But these two quite like it, I think. I like it, bro. I'm a person of fear. It's that. Back to the Future for me is that kind of Christmassy time. It's on ITV too. Sort of. I think film. at the moment it's on every bloody. Yeah, but yeah, it is like all the time, isn't it? It's like um, it's like having relatives you don't really like over and and uh and having uh, Christmas pudding. It's it's a Christmas tradition that nobody wants. Why should have to yeah. sell toys next to them as well? As well? Why should have to sell toys next to the relatives you don't like? <laughs> That's the joke. The joke is that everyone thinks me and you are related because we look uh, similar, but in actual fact, it's Andy and Aaron that are related. I'm just oh, so yeah. goddamn good looking. That's it. <laughs> What's, oh, Brad, I'm trying to think of his name. I know who you mean from Mighty Ducks. There you go. Uh, and the other Andy, Viking Andy's got it. Goon. The Goon from Mighty Ducks. Oh, the, he wears the trench coat. He does the really hard slap. And I'm assuming his uh his saying is cake eaters. Cake eaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Sean William Scott. Is that you talking about? No. 
Sean Williams oh, got sent. Uh, he's he's in another. He's a, um, he's a different from called the Goon. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that the is that a threat or an insult, Ben? I don't I don't know don't know what's going on with that. The original Bad News Bears, Bad News Bears movie is far worse than what they say. You couldn't get away with it today over the Mighty Ducks movie. I've never, I, watched, yeah, I'm... I've never watched it, so I, I wouldn't know. But I'm intrigued now. But then the Mighty Ducks he didn't say anything that wasn't like bad. It was just those little things, like these little off things that just they're funny. Like there's nothing bad about it, but it was a bit like. Oh, like you probably couldn't say that now. Like, but also, the, the stereotypicalness of it—you wouldn't, you probably couldn't get away with now. Yeah, no. and and rightly so to a certain degree. When you've got like certain, uh, you know, like I don't know, typecasts, like you massive, know, or massive stereotype. Yeah, like oh, we've got the Mexican kid, and he wins by throwing like tacos at people or whatever. You know, you just think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, you know, we look at the toys. We were talking about this a, a, a while ago about like. Particularly the or like GI Joes, the GI Joe figures, yeah. Like, oh, come on, but just, no, just me, Jimmy, just for you. At some point, I can see, I can see it's annoyed you that I, I will. And Hannah's a, a fan. I will watch the Mighty Ducks movies, or certainly the first one. It, isn't Goldberg now basically just a crackhead? Is that the one that was? No, didn't he get cleaned up? One was method. They found him under like the streets of Las Vegas, didn't they? Um, but they cleaned him up. There might be another Mighty Ducks movie. It's out. series. It's going. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I don't like this. I feel like Aaron when we talk about wrestling. I'm 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 out I'm out of my element. People keep talking about Mighty Ducks. Day trip. Toy Division boys go to Norwich. <laughs> Debbie does. <laughs> Debbie does Norwich. <laughs> Dummies do Norwich. Yeah, dummies do Norwich. He's definitely right. <laughs> so guys, you have your collection room under lock and key. Oh, I, I don't know about key. that. That's, that's also quite scathing against your partner. Like, when you're out, they would just smash your stuff or sell it. I'll be worried of uh, Vic taking things to add to her collection. Yeah. <laughs> Especially anything not, baby Yoda related. Or, or not taking it, just like Aaron going, where's, where's, where, what's happened here? And it's like, oh, your stuff. I oh, just packed that away. It's in a box somewhere. I needed to make space for more of my stuff, so uh, yeah. just the collection starts spreading. I, I around. come in and all the Lara Crofts are all over. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need the Power Ranger stuff anymore. You, we'll, we'll just pack it away. It's in, it's in a storage locker somewhere. It's fine. Yeah. I've just I've just got this whole shelf devoted to Baby Yoda. Yeah. Not like Back to the Future means you can zebo over the roof car park. Jokes on you, mate. I know how to get there. <laughs> I was about to say you did better than your actual story, though. <laughs> it's not that it, dude, it's not that I don't like it. It just never, it never, for want of a better rubbish phrase, like vibe with it. I, it doesn't speak to me. I don't connect with it. It doesn't remind me of my youth. I don't like the uh, the story. I don't particularly like the the uh, the, 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 the 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 dialogue. I just it just never. It never, it never, it never touched me. No, the big guy, one of the Bash brothers. Oh, I see what you mean. The goons, yeah, as in the film, the goon. They just go around in smashing people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Are we trying to find out what someone's called? I actually can't remember what we were talking. Someone met one of them. A firefighter now faces a civil lawsuit because he beat a man. In... Oh Jesus! Yeah, that would do it. There you go. You don't need to. Jimmy's got it covered. The Bash Brothers Men played by know. Aaron Law. He played Dean Portman and Dean Anderson played. There you go. There we go. Whatever happened to um, uh, Devon Sawyer? Who? He's the main guy in uh, Idle Hands. And also, um, and also was pretty successful in Final Destination, wasn't he? I've only watched, I think, one of their like twenty-eight films. Dude, it's a good franchise, man. <laughs> Dude, seriously, Final Destination. Do you know what? Me, when me and Vic were driving up to um up to Birmingham today, it was like 
we saw a vehicle that had all the logs on it. Logs on the yeah. Every time, every time we I, I can't drive behind one of them because yeah. as soon as I see one, yeah. Look about final destination. We're going to Thorpe Park tomorrow as well. So, oh yeah, you're going to Thorpe Park. Yeah, you, sh you should have told Things me. Things may be really wet tomorrow, isn't it? That's have what happens when you go on tidal wave. Have you, have you have you paid to get in? I think we've already paid for them. Yeah. Well, you should have told me. You know, I know people that work there. Anyway. Seriously? Yeah. Like my best friend is one of the managers. Anyway, well, do you know yeah. what? I I was like, I knew loads of people who used to work there. Yeah, I still know a couple yeah. that work in management. Oh man, bollocks! Someone's putting the comment about Team Wolf. Team Wolf is amazing. No, 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 no. Don't, don't be skipping the comments because someone's just said something up there that I 100 percent agree with. Keep going. Oh, down I don't know. Way. I just saw that one. I got excited. Where, where? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they're that's, that's what they'll do. They'll re they'll, re they'll revamp every any franchise they can, squeeze some. Apparently, life out. that Cobra Kai is all meant to be awesome, though. Dude, I I've, give it a thumbs up. 100%. I've heard, I've not watched it, but I've heard nothing but utter posit positive reviews. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's much it's much better than the films. Much better. Mm. Just just what just YouTube dream sequence White Snake, and then that you don't have to watch the rest of it. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Yeah, no, I do. I do want to watch it. It's quite funny though, isn't it? Because so many people are like, "Yeah, it, used to be, it was on, it was free on YouTube, and no one watched it." And now it's like on Netflix, and everyone's like, it's so no, "Because good. you you had you had the YouTube subscription." I don't think, think it was it, free on there. Uh, didn't they make it free? I saw, saw someone said it. They they did I that you had with, and oh. then they made it free because no one was watching it because no one has a YouTube subscription. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to free start YouTube. Old school Shinobi, hello mate. Hello, New Order. I've always wanted to lie back to the future, but there's something about it I find unappealing. Yes. <laughs> Same with the Goonies. Yes. See, I, yes. No, I prefer the Goonies. I've, I've, def, I've got more, I've got better memories, I'd say, of watching the Goonies than watching Back to the Future. You watched, you watched it recently. It's just annoying. Well, the Goonies, yeah. Yeah, it's just annoying. It's like the archetype of annoying kids being annoying, doing annoying things, and then getting away with it. Like, we're supposed to be like, oh, you found a bunch of money, did you? It's going to save the town, is it? Like, the government's not going to come and be like, well, that's our pirate ship. Your town's still going, or whatever it is they were trying to save. The school, the wreck, the playground. Bah. I think it was their town, the house. Probably. I can't, Anno I don't know. Annoying children doing annoying things. It was good. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure, Dan, if they made it into a cartoon, you'd love it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't, because essentially... Uh, Every character in that film is a stereotype. You've got the fat kid that does fat things to make people laugh. You've got the Asian kid that's great at technology. And you've got a huge mentally and physically like impaired dude. And that's why he's in there. Like, great. You leave sloth alone. Yeah. I, I don't. Green, green is great, I, I, I understand that it's like a thing and people love it. I just don't. Next, uh, yeah. Next criticism of my uh, film days. She's going through them. Everyone's everyone's mentioning Mighty Ducks characters. Stop talking about Mighty Ducks. No, nah, keep talking about Mighty Ducks. It's cool. I will watch it. I, I will watch the first one. Yeah, I'm more of a Team Wolf man over Back to Future. Always love the scene when he's on the. I think it's a camper van, and he's like surfing down the road on the camper van. It's cool. I haven't watched, I never watched the TV series actually. Well, yeah, I've I've not heard good things about that. Yeah, no, I've not, it's never it's not like spiked my interest, but the film actually, it, uh, yeah, I remember really enjoying the film. I can't see Team Wolf now. That thinking of the every time I die video to Werewolf, which isn't a bad thing. Devon Shaw was the real. Ah, oh, so that's who he is. So it was Devon Shaw. Okay, well, I just took a guess, but yeah, the guy from Final Destination and and yeah, the main guy from Idle Hands. He also oh, played. Yeah. Am, I, am I right in saying he played? Young Eminem, or that no, the Eminem wannabe in the Stan video. Mm, maybe. I mean, I think I am right. I'm saying that like as a question. Love from the Cobra Kai. Yeah. Love from Team Wolf. Pick a Team Wolf. Dude, I've watched plenty. <laughs> I've watched. Trust me, I've watched. Plenty. <laughs> I just haven't like. At one point, I, I, I we, had, we had we had to get a bit uh, have a bit of a. 
bit of a callback because uh before the digital revolution i think we had something like over ten thousand dvds in the house uh okay. yeah there you go that's the answer to you only first two episodes are free on youtube and now youtube does not make scripty content what's this if we scripted, all, done, all this is scripted we've done an incredibly poor job we've got we've got 15 bots in the uh in the uh chat giving us advice it's all scripted that's actually quite interesting though they won't actually show scripted content there was there was oh, a yeah, great yeah, no. yeah yep very sad the goodie <laughs> i hope that i hope that's a, i hope that is a isn't a typo and you're talking about the goodies there you go. Yeah, again, it's just stereotypical atheist. Doesn't England have a law if you find treasure in your country, you have to pull it or get into trouble? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. That depends who finds out. Well, I, I, I'm not too sure. I'm not actually too sure. I know there was a big thing. We had a big thing, like, was it last year? Like, people would go magnet fishing in the rivers, weren't they? And, like, they were going to, like, areas that had, like, gang like old sort of 60s gang sort of yeah what's that like they were, pulling, they were pulling out like lugans and pistols and stuff out of like the like the canals in the temp like the, sorry the canals in london in like the east end and like the thames and stuff mm. yeah like, yeah the gov like the people before it got involved because i think i think on someone pulled out a gun at stains bridge didn't they yep yeah well, like, the authorities would want the guns to find out if they were used in crime well they've been sitting in the bottom of the river for probably years yeah, that, I've seen that, yeah. NCIS. They can do some magic. They can figure <laughs> it out, right? They, they do some like three D stuff, and then like a catchy tune comes on, <laughs> and they do some more three D stuff, and then they find out that the bullet was used in a case twenty years ago. I hundred percent agree with Big C there. Stand oh, by Big me, C, you're, 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 you couldn't you couldn't be more spot on. Stand by me is a better film, and it's and it and it's still a good. Listen, you're right. Okay, Goonies is a great film for for a kid, and when I was a kid, fine. And kids nowadays watching it awesome but i don't think it stands up um whereas yeah stand by me is is so still, is awesome still actually on tv a couple of weeks ago and i just yeah. it's one of the things i just gone to about halfway through and just they were about to set off on the journey mm. and it was like stop what you're doing and just finish off watching it it's, it's just i have never seen film. stand by me oh, it's, it's so good man it's a good film never man like, it. it's the whacking it's phoenix yeah uh, no, uh, River Phoenix before he died. River Phoenix, yeah, sorry. Brother. Will, Will, Will Wheaton. The, yeah, the uh, the frog brother from... Corey, Corey Feldman. That's it, Corey Feldman, yeah. yeah. It's, also, it's also randomly got... Is it Josh, Is it Keith Sutherland or Josh Brolin? Keith, Keith, Keith Sutherland. Keith Sutherland, yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah but, I've never yeah, seen it. It's a, very, it's, a, it's a moving film, mate. About yeah, I thought it was very, very good. Maybe that's why I've never watched it because I don't do good with stuff like that. It's a good film. Yeah, we mentioned that earlier, yeah. Meth head. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like it's one of those you see the picture of him, but there was also a picture. And he of, sent like, me a picture of him. Yeah, he's cleaned himself up though. Yeah, I don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> you absolute <laughs> home wrecker! You absolute home Dan. I, dude. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just not. Again, Hannah had pulled me the other day. She's like, "You don't like it. You you say you're into like '80s and '90s stuff, but you seem to hate everything from the '80s and '90s." And I'm like, "Ah, oh, I, I don't. I just don't think some some stuff just hasn't stood." Dude, I, I'm only ripping on it because I think it's funny just to uh, upset these two, but it's not really working. I don't really care, so I'm gonna stop ripping on it. It's like when I said I don't like Aliens. You nearly had a fit. No, it's because I don't believe you've given it a proper chance. Because I said, have you seen have you seen aliens? You were like, well, we, I don't know, alien, aliens, alien three. They're all. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's not get. Yeah, into then it. you you told me to watch Alien Two, and I did. I sat down, I watched it, and you didn't like it. And that's didn't like it. That's a hundred percent fine. Hundred percent fine. But the alien uses an elevator in the, in the last scene. What's that? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm thinking of the right film. The, the, the alien uses like a, a lift. It it grabs onto the lift. Oh, Andy. Oh, maybe it does press the button. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm sure it presses the button. <laughs> I was like, right. 
Hannah, in Aliens, does the Queen Alien press the lift button at the end to to, to come down? I think no, it does. I'm pretty sure it's, it's on the. It no, I think you might be right. Which is which is irritating itself, but in all the Aliens films, at some point the alien appears, and you're like, oh, you're just going to jump over that bit as to how it got there. But yeah, well, it's like the, the film, Velociraptor opening up the door. Yeah, the the film's called Aliens. You you know you're going to have to suspend your disbelief at some point. Yeah, I, don't know, I just didn't like it. I've never seen Monster Squad. Monster Squad is a great film. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen Abel. Monster Squad, yeah, Monster Squad's a great film. I mean, it's... it's well, I saw the, it's the law stated on a British episode of Antiques Roadshow. Some lady took a ring she found in a forest from the 1700s and a prologue told her that law. Yeah, there is saying that it's about where you find it and, and all that sort of stuff. But if you sailed a ship full of gold round a corner... Yeah. somebody is going to be taking that away from you yeah, because, yeah. You're, because you're children. And you have just broken a bunch of laws. And you have just like... Oh my God, you're going back to get... Who looks after Sloth now? Chunk. Oh, really? They're going to let like a, like a child look after a, a, a grown man who is... No, yeah. no, no. He was a child in the 80s. He's a grown man. He's, he's an adult now. What? Sloth's going to... Sloth's, Sloth's probably dead now, dead, dead now, to be fair. It's going to live with Chunk's family. No, who so who played Sloth? I thought he might have actually. Look, there you go. Goonies trivia. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I didn't that's, pronounce that's, that. I'm that's, afraid. That's right. First so overall pick in the ninth NFL draft and won two Super Bowls. Yeah, he was a, he was a, he was an NFL stud. That's he amazing. Was he was a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. Yeah, there's a picture of him cleaned up. So I think they found him. They like literally found him when they were like going through these like meth places and realized who he was. And thought we'll, we'll save him because he was once working for Disney. And the rest of them died. No, I don't know. Speak, speaking of um, YouTube stuff, did any of you watch Kung Fury when it came out on YouTube? No. Oh, Kung Fury. Highly recommend it. I really enjoyed it. And they're making another one, I think. You'd like it, maybe. Would we? I don't know. Dark aliens. It's hard to trust anything you like these days, mate. <laughs> I think you've all said some really edgy stuff tonight with your film choices. Hey! B. Probably. You're probably right. <laughs> I've never seen it, dude, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I've, honestly, I've never seen I'll it. I'll have to watch it. I'm not going to say anything negative, man, but I kind of, I kind of, I, I mean, not in a, um, not in a sexual way, but I kind of, <laughs> I want to, I want to know what it likes to be beefed by Ross. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> we could get some beef no monster. it has dated but it is still enjoyable that's for sure oh, I'm googling it what the monster squad in the meantime right. if anyone's going to chat on the weekend uh, anyone looking for anything in particular we should bring while Aaron googles away yeah anyone want anything I've got anyone looking for anything special or sexy or I found an aliens versus a boxed alien versus predator movie maniac set in my loft, which I'll be bringing. All right, so it is literally kids versus the classic monsters. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like goosebumps. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Sure. Let's go with that. Sure. It's like the Universal Monsters have all teamed up and they're going after some kids. For some reason, the uh, the front cover in the of that in the video shops always like that. Uh, ghoulies, the critters ones, puppet masters, but uh, always reminded me of that era, the Monster Squad. Uh, there we go. Yeah, no. Hannah just brought it in. Here is the Monster Squad on VHS. <laughs> Amazing. I'm down with that. Yeah, I don't watch that. The downstairs as well, yeah. I don't watch that. that. Monster Squad on VHS. The video collection. Not a great tagline. A real monster of a movie. There you yeah. go. Chunky's now a skinny lawyer in real life. He is. He is Amazing. Me. There you go. Like, I see. I've seen the Last Starfire. That's a quality film. Which one's Last Starfire? That's the one where he gets drafted, isn't it? He yeah, he's got the kid. Stuff. Plays the video game. And it was actually to go and fly the ship for take down this evil. It's like a kind of. No, really, I think I, I think I'm that sounds familiar. I'm butchering what the storyline is but yeah no he he plays a video game and it's actually a test to see who's good enough to be a starfighter lessons right. are learned there's some morals to be learned <laughs> it's 
It's your 80s, your standard 80s there. He thinks he can't do it, and then meets a good girl, and the good girl and bit, him that he a, can do it. There's a bit that you're sure he's not going to do it, but... He, he does it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what happens. Yes. And then it comes out of the elevator and goes, Wah! and then the woman goes, boo, 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 or something like that. And then, did you did you did you at least dig Bill Paxton in it? Which is, I couldn't even tell you who he was. Hudson. Game over. Yeah, that man. guy. He was good. Game over. Yeah, he's a. He died, no. Yeah, that's that's who that picture of me is. With. No, no, yeah, I know, I know he died in real life, but he died in that, that film. He absolutely dies in that film, yeah. He's the only, I, he might even still be the only guy that gets killed on screen by a Terminator, a Predator, and an alien. Fun fact. A little fun fact there. What was the film, I think the collector edition somewhere with a blow of axe. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Bobby 80s would be going nuts over that. Mm. If it was pretty like a, if it was a Little Monsters, yes. Yes, with Fred Savage. Fred Savage is interesting because he uh, directs a bunch of the um, Always Sunny in Philadelphia episodes. He's like a bit of a an indie hero. Really? Yeah, right. yeah, Fred Savage, yeah. There's a Obviously, 2019 film. There's a 1989 film. 89 film. Fred Savage is most known for The Wonder Years. Ah, okay, okay. Kevin, was it Kevin? I can't remember. In The, in the Wonder Years. But yeah, he was in a bunch of, uh, bunch of 80s films. But Little Monsters is, is, is one of them. Again, don't think I've seen that. No, yeah. I've never seen that. I remember watching BMX Bandit. BMX Bandit. It was awful. Ross, Ross wants to beef with me. I'm down as long as it's as long as it's friendly. Bring that Robo Skull. I'll try and find you another one. This this one is staying in my uh, <laughs> in my possession. Little monsters. Kids befriend monsters against Dracula, if I can remember correctly. Yep. A hundred years ago, as a full moon rose over Transylvania, the evil Dracula, Prince of Darkness, fought his final battle. A hundred years later, he's up against the monster squad. Yeah. I love Goosebumps. I still need to buy those Fright, um, fright Street ones. But the ones you were telling me about. Yeah. I kind of I want them I want them in book form. I, I know it's a kind of cliche. I could probably go on my Kindle and just download them really easily, but I kind of feel like that's the sort of thing that needs to be a book. There you go, boys. Carly Turtles, Box Transformers, Carly Aliens, and the Real Ghostbusters. Well, Colin's bought all the Carly Turtles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, Rob might be able to help you out with Transformers, actually. Rob will absolutely be able to help you out with uh, Transformers. I don't know who's got any real Ghostbusters at the moment. I've only got Lucy Ghostbusters. Mm. Nothing boxed. I've got some... I've got the box... I've got the copter that I think you asked for. I've got some box turtles that have been sliced open, but have been put back in. So they're, they're basically... They're actually quite... The cards are decent. But, uh, yeah, they've just been sliced to get the toy out. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring them all. We'll bring yep. some of that stuff down. Original Mark Myers, actor, director of The Last Starfire. Oh, okay. Learning some, learning some good trivia. That's mental. <laughs> that ender's game. I think that was, that was uh, how badly I booked The Last Starfighter uh, plot. <laughs> Boys, remember the film Solar? Both of these. Nope, I'm going to Google that one. I don't, but I am going to Google that. Really like solar powered angry babies. Well, yeah, it looks it looks pure eighties, which I'm down with. How long before someone gives us like some dodgy porn film and? <laughs> oh, have, have any of you ever been to a lemon party? Oh, I'll, I'll Google yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, check out this one. Google meat bin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've, wow. I've, not seen, I've not seen Salad Babies, but the pictures I can see online and the uh, and the cover make it look very much to me like a like a te like a teenage version of June. Which is that? Is that Michael? Is the girl? 
on that picture, the girl from Lost Boys. What is, is that? Not the dude for, that's the dude from Lost Boys, is it not? Oh yeah, Lost Boys goes to space. Lost Boys in space. Lost in space. Oh, no, oh yeah, do space. Do you, read, do you read the day that apparently Tom Cruise has been given the overhead to film in space? Watch the Mission Impossible Seventeen or whatever. I don't know. Would it? I hope they leave him up there. <laughs> we need people like Tom Cruise, mate. Why? Well. I quite like I quite like the uh, film Mission Impossible. Uh, Jay, Jay, Jason Patrick, yes. Lucas Haas is in it. Interesting. Sorry, I'm still looking at a uh, solo. Yeah, so, yes, solo Bovis has the Lost Boys actors in it. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie Gertz. Dumbo, welcome. Hello, my friend. Welcome, welcome. So I'm just. Yeah. Well. It's... Didn't she learn that by watching Ripley hit the button? Yes. They, they actually did something. They did, they did exactly the same in Resurrection. Yeah. Yeah. They Ross's Tales from the Thrift Keeper. I just, uh, I just yeah. followed you. That's what I was doing two seconds ago. So everyone else hit him up. Best BMX movie. Rad. Rad. You check out Little Monsters. It's also got meatloaf in it. <laughs> highly underrated <laughs> everything about meatloaf is cool can you imagine right you know like, you know like the old meatloaf songs things like uh things like bat out of hell yeah like right you think about when that was written in in the the time of you know evolution of music and what that song actually is it's insane it's insane that he would write that song and that people would go yeah that's all right you can put that out I'm glad he did. It's similar for similar vibes like Bohemian Rhapsody, Queen. Yeah. It's so ahead of like ahead of their time in regards to the progginess of it all. Love me though. I have to be careful what I say, but did you see Shabby Geek Mark's video? Yes, I did watch it. Uh, if you guys want a feel good video and a video to make you feel like yeah. Check out yeah, Shabby Geek Mark. Is it Shabby Geek? Or is it Shabby Geek? I can't remember what his full YouTube title is. When you say feel good, is is this toy related or just general? It's toy related, actually. Okay. Toy related, but yeah, no, it's um. Well, it's I don't want to talk about. What I want to talk about toys, mate. What, 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 why would you want to talk about toys? Yeah, this is this is about <laughs> movies that none of us have watched. Toy Division chat. I still don't think I've actually seen Lost Boys, or whatever the one you were saying, the vampire one with Keith Sutherland. Great film. I got, I got Vic to watch it. Um, the other day and she was like she just turned around and was like it's not as good as you said it was <laughs> again much like much like most them films you could you maybe that it's the memory of it as well but as soon as if, if anyone says to me at any point I any I, like i still believe about i still believe whatever i just go to the sexy sax man and i still believe and if you know what that is then you you we, we share a common thread love for the robo skull tonight Big up the Robo Skull. Andy, can you show off your turtle shirt, please? <laughs> STEM and computers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pretty cool. Luke Dan got it for me for a, a loop crate thing. Yeah. I got I got one for Ben as well, didn't I? You did. I actually got one for me as well. Did I get you one? Yeah. Oh, what a nice guy I am. Didn't keep oh, one for yeah. myself. <laughs> More fun facts. Monster Squad written by Shane Black, actor and yep. predator, director of Iron Man 3 and the oh, sorry, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm watching it right now. <laughs> I'll watch that later on. It's on a smaller window. Just gonna put that into my memory. In, in uh, mode yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going let me just, just take a photo of how that's written out there. Uh, <laughs> I love that film. Genuinely, I love the guy. I know how bad it is, but I, I love it. Because I just love Garbage Pile Kids, and I love that film. I love the fact that someone was insane enough to try and make a Garbage Pile Kids film. And and it is bad, but it's everything I love about bad 80s films. So, yeah, I do. I, and I own that on VHS and DVD, because... Why not? Why not? But, yeah. Love that film. It's terrible. 
Jimmy right, Sto- right. I'm, I'm, I'm after my go on my list. So Mighty Ducks and uh, Solar Babies. I just like the Dune Solar Babies. I saw quite. I, a I like pretty... I like that description of it. Yeah. Dune meets Starlight Express. I'm up for it. Looking at the pictures, that's a really great description of it. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Tom Cruise, listen to Mighty Wings by Cheat Tricks and tell me, excuse me, what Street Fighter character's theme you hear? I have to listen to it. Well, yeah, I can't think of any street, street Fighter characters off my top of my head. Oh, you'll know, uh, you'd know the girl music if you heard it. Probably. But maybe it's a different version on the game. That was perfect, guys. Perfect, that was. Perfect. 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 Lost yeah. Boys is one of my favourite films. Yeah. It's a really so good, good. It's just a good, solid, feel good. It's got film. a great soundtrack as well. Oh. Dude, it's got a great soundtrack. There's a cover of the um oh, Empire Toys in the chat. Hello, Empire Toys. Hello. Uh, Cry Cry Little Sister by Who's by, by a Screamo band that isn't great called uh, Aiden, but it's a really good cover of Cry Little Sister. If you like That's if, uh, Yeah, they did like some they look like little vampires, didn't they? Like sort of Oh yeah, yeah, they were they were they were they were, they were very um Yeah, romantic y emo yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, metal, but but if you like if you like kind of slightly heavier covers of old songs, which I do, they did a cut yeah, Cry Little Sister. It's it's a very I think it's a good cover. I'll check it. Sorry, that, that link there is the link to this video for uh Chevy Geek and yeah, oh, watch it. I, I, I won't say what happens, but you 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 feel you feel his happiness in the video, like it's great. Will I will cry? It, will it be will it be I Andy? Shed a tear. Will it be Andy it's being his so reaction? Happy. Andy was so happy about his Christmas present he almost well he did throw it on the floor. It, it's almost it's almost yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it doesn't throw it on the floor, but like Andy did. Like literally yeeted your like yeah. <laughs> it's just like yeet. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That yeah. was pure joy. Alex Winter Alex. is in Lost Boys. But speaking of Alex Winter, uh, did anyone see the film that he directed and starred in called uh Freaked? I think we've had it. I mean we've mentioned this before, but you mentioned it? yeah, no. Awesome film. It's got Mr. T playing a uh, bearded lady. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get socks as well. Oh yeah, I've got Ben Turtle socks as well. Bit of love for the Blue Harvest Boys. Yep. The Party Boys chat is a good one. Tuesdays and Fridays. Big. Big up the Paddy Boys. Cool. Well, we've nearly done an hour and fifty minutes now. <laughs> so uh time flies when you're having fun, I guess. I, I need I need to jump in and say one thing on Badger Toys. Meet the Feebles is 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 not a bad eighties film. It's an insane drug fueled episode of Sesame Street. Um, I also think it was the nineties, but I could be I could be maybe eighty nine. But I love that film. Genuinely love that film. But I love all of Peter Jackson's uh, originals stuff. But yeah. Now, yeah. now, if you want a um, if you want a crazy film to watch, and I seriously crazy, I recommend The Holy Mountain. The Holy Mountain. Yes. Now, it is. We uh, we went to the uh, we were in the Fighting Cox in Kingston having beers, and they showed it in there. And no joke, we none of us spoke to each other for like two hours, and we just watched this film. Oh, okay. Yeah, seventy-three Mexican surreal fantasy. So it's it's going to be fully it's, like psychedelic. Apparently, the premise of this film was the the guy who directed it, who's also stars in it. Took all the actors up into like the hill, like to the mountains in um, Mexico, mm. and they basically did loads and loads of drugs. A bunch of acid. That's his name. Yeah, yeah, loads and loads of drugs, and they came up with this film, and it is crazy. Okay, I'm in. So, there you go. Throwing it out there, you'll be you come out of that film a different person. It, like it's mind blowing. It's, but oh, El Topo. Okay, I know. I know who you're talking about now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hundred percent. Cool. Well, I'll, 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 I'll do a sandwich. I'll do Mighty Ducks, then the Holy Mountain, 
and then Solar Babies and see how I feel after that. Hey, that is going to blow your mind. I think you should go Holy Mountain first and just because, like I said, you'll see the light, you'll see the world in a whole new. It, it'll, like, whole, it'll make Mighty Ducks into a totally different film, will it? If I'm uh, tripped out, like, it'll, make, it'll, make, it'll, it'll turn your life into a completely different life. <laughs> I mean, like, the, the only way to describe it is you know, like in the Matrix, where like Zio sees all the Matrix and everything. Yeah, it's like that. That's yeah. how you'll be seeing life after you watch the Holy Mountain. I take a peek behind the curtain. It did. I like that. The joke, the joke being is, it is a mental film. <laughs> They took the red pill and the blue pill. That's how you get behind the yeah. Matrix. Oh, dude, Carlos. Sorry, God. I know you... Me... Yes. Yes. An underrated film, which is never on again. It used to be on two of a time. Dude, Meet the Applegates was... Uh, 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 I wish I remembered more about it, but yes, great film. A family that are basically like insects and they wear human skin. Um <laughs> Uh, and like fit, it's, it's a kind of a comedy, like a comedy horror. They were yeah. like human skin to fit in, but then um, they, they have to they kind of feast on the neighbors, but they turn into like massive like praying mantises. Meet the Applegates. Oh, yeah, banging. That's film. ringing a bell, and I have no idea yeah. why. It doesn't sound like something I'd watch, but it really <laughs> it really is ringing a bell. I used to say to people, like, I used to meet the Applegates. They're like, Oh, do you mean Meet the Feebles? I said, No, 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 two very, very different films, but uh, yeah, Meet the Applegates was uh, yeah, was it, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Giant bugs from the Amazon jungle, and I, yeah, oh man, that was a good film. That was a good film. I remember it being a good film, but that was the same sort of vibe as Coneheads, and you know, like that, like almost. It might have even been a Saturday Night Live funded film. It could well have been actually, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Amazing, mm. well, cool, cool. Quite a lot of films we added to the list. Maybe yeah. we should do that. Maybe we should do like a toy to like give us a list, and we'll do like one of those like we watch a film that no one's ever seen before. Yeah, reaction films. Oh, I've got lots of films to watch. Never watched. But that was yeah. that was cool. That's cool. Like, guys, I, I've, we've really appreciated your, all your comments. It's been great. Really great fun. Uh, we will be taking a break next week. Uh, just so we'll go back and we'll be back in two weeks' time. So uh, we will see you then. Uh, if we don't, we'll see you at the Chatham Toy Fair on Saturday. Looking forward yep. to that. Where you can meet, uh, you can meet us free. Who, who else? Yeah, don't worry about the Red Ranger dude. Come meet yeah. us. Come I mean, it's like Steve Cardenas, uh, Adam from Zooks. Why am I Centurions? Oh, yes. Andy is selling very, very nice uh, Centurions oh. complete. So I only two. Into- I, want, I want the money to buy Laser Beasts. But yeah. If you're into Centurions, hit Andy up because he's selling a couple of uh, absolute m- lovely ones. Yeah, no, proper. And so, well, my to be, some of them are pretty minty. Is it the Wild Weasel you're selling? Yeah, World Weasel and then Skybolt. No. There is min- They're as minty as mint gets. Oh, nice. Very nice. But yeah, guys, we really appreciate um, all your support and everything. Uh, join Toy Division. Join the Facebook group. And uh, we will see you very, very soon. Peace. <laughs> High five. <laughs>